Come and forgive me for interrupting our lunch. I'm delighted to be able to help celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Boy Scouts of America. I'm delighted to celebrate anything that's older than I am. <laughs> but, but 75 years of unparalleled service to the youth and the families and the communities of our nation. As you might imagine, in my job, there's some things I must do and some I want to do and a few special things that I just can't wait to do. And this celebration is one of those special moments. On Inauguration Day, I, I spoke of the American sound, those symbols of our democracy and echoes of our past that give us purpose and guide us forward. And I said that sound, our heritage, our song is hopeful, big-hearted, idealistic, daring, decent, and fair. And you know, come to think of it, I could have added trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, and the rest of the scout law. Because the Boy Scouts of America and the values that you hold close are an important part of the American sound and have been for 75 proud years. And it was in the early days of scouting that the life of a young New Yorker was changed forever. Manhattan's Lower East Side was a very tough neighborhood. And far too many young men were drawn into the turmoil and violence there and never recovered. But this particular youngster from the Lower East Side found the Boy Scouts. He was challenged to learn positive values, leadership, camping, fitness. Aaron took up the challenge and gained in moral strength confidence and ambition. He became a successful attorney, and his son became the second Eagle Scout in the family. But Aaron never forgot his roots, and in 1943, left the practice of law to give more of his time to Boy Scout fundraising. And his son? Well, during our first term, Ken Duberstein served here in the White House as my assistant for legislative affairs, so I'm very pleased that they're both here today. You know, America sure turns out winners, and much of the credit belongs to organizations like the Boy Scouts. And so it's not surprising that yesterday's Scouts have helped to shape our today in business, government, the media, science, medicine, education, show business, and, well, the list goes on and on. Former Scouts have walked on the moon, become president, and won the Heisman Trophy. Today, they serve as cabinet secretaries, as my press secretary, and in the Congress. In fact, about two-thirds of the members of the Congress have been in the Boy Scouts. Two, you know, I can't help but think, two-thirds of them Boy Scouts. How nice, it, <laughs> how nice it would have been if the Boy Scouts had a merit badge for a balanced budget amendment. <laughs> I mean, but you can be certain that today's Scouts will help shape America. And when they do, I'll bet there'll be scouts like the ones who are with us today, like Randy Reed of nearby Vienna, Virginia. Two days ago, Randy received the Boy Scouts' highest and rarest award, the Honor Medal for Life Saving with Crossed Palms for Extraordinary Heroism. And uh, he's not alone. I've just been sitting beside a young man here, Freddie Hill, who also is wearing that medal very proudly. But Randy, also at the extreme risk of his own life, rescued a young man who had slipped, who had struck his head and fell unconscious, wedged between rocks in 14 feet of murky water. And with great bravery and skill, Randy did everything his scout training would tell him to do and more. And Randy, congratulations and God bless you. Let me ask, Freddie, how many others in here are wearing that medal also of Scouts? Are you? Give them a look at you, too. Freddie <laughs> is wearing the medal. Thank you. 
Well, you know, it's easy to understand why the Boy Scout badge, the American Eagle, superimposed on the north sign of the Mariner's Compass means, follow me, I know the way. The Boy Scouts of America do know the way. The way to set high standards and how to live by them, and the way to build character, train in citizenship, and foster fitness of mind and body. And here's one last thought. Without the thousands of adult leaders, corporate sponsors, and other caring Americans, it would not be possible for young Americans to capture the scouting spirit and the special joys of camping, fellowship, service, and love of country. So thank all of you for what you're doing for our young people and for America's future. We're in good hands. So God bless you all, and God bless the Boy Scouts of America. Mr. President, it's a real honor for us uh, in scouting to be here to give the annual report to the, the nation, especially on this day, this very day, the 75th anniversary of the Boy Scouts of America. Now, we, we've got just a few little uh, awards to give out today, but uh, before we do, I'd like to note that the, as some of you may not know, uh, President Reagan is the honorary president of the Boy Scouts of America, and I happen to know that uh, Mrs. Reagan likes, supports, and is very enthusiastic about scouting. So with the honor and authority invested in me as the national president of the Boy Scouts, I hereby complain, proclaim <laughs> that Mrs. Reagan is now an honorary vice president of the Boy Scouts of America. <laughs> Uh, Mr. President, uh, the Boy Scouts don't often give out the Distinguished Scout Citizen of the Year Award, but on this case, on this occasion, we take great honor in presenting to you this award because of your tremendous support of God, country, and the Boy Scouts of America. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> And now to uh, perform the rest of the, the ceremony, uh, I'm going to turn it over to the young people. Uh, the following will please come forward. Cub Scout National Representative Nathan Hadfield, who is from Pleasant Grove, Utah. Bob Scout Representative Thad Bibb, who's from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And Explorer President Brian Sims from Logoti, Indiana. It's all yours. Mr. President, I'm pleased to present you with your registration card for the coming year. We are glad that you are continuing to serve as the Boy Scouts of America's Honorary National President. Thank you very much. Thank you. Also, Mr. President, in part of our report, I'd like to tell you that uh, for the fifth straight year, um, scouting membership has increased. And we're starting something new. It's called Scouting for Tomorrow. And uh, it, it's to pre prepare scouting for whatever tomorrow brings, whether it be in this century or the next. And uh, also, we have uh, added emphasis on the Scout Oath and Law, the Cub Scout Promise, the Varsity Scouting Pledge, and the Explorer Codes. So right now, we'd like to present to you the uh, national presentation to the nation. In fact, sir, there are many people representing this report. There have been seven of us all week who have represented this, and I'd like for them to stand up helping me present this. They'll just stand up. Alex Holsinger, Kim Stefani, please stand up. Uh, our young gentleman in the corner, uh, Stephen Mimnaw, and Freddie Hill also, please stand up. All seven of us are um, proud to present to you this award. Well, thank, thank you, thank you very, very much. much. Thank you. Close the candles out on that. <laughs> That's your birthday. I think we all together. In my honorary capacity, I can join in. Sure. Here we go. <laughs> now, 
we will have dessert. 